and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video. It's going to be going over possibly the worst market crash I've ever witnessed as a Madden Ultimate player. Like, I've seen market crashes, I've seen drops, but guys, literally the entire market has crashed. All the presents, the Christmas promo, the Christmas day, the ghost of Madden pass, they have entirely crashed the market. Now, it's probably attributed to, like I said, brand new overpowered cards like Bojax coming to the game that just changes the landscape of the game. All these presents that were opened on one day as well as all the brand new christmas noobs all the new guys getting madden on christmas day that are open packs right now probably all comes together to attribute to a crash market now it is really 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 bad today like i'm i'm so tempted to buy a ton of cards right now i wish i had more coins i'm currently trying to build my stack up just because of the fact that if i can build it up in time i can easily buy a bunch of stuff for good prices speaking of i'll probably end up selling barry sanders now that i have powered up bo jackson got him for super i didn't get him for that cheap but he is super cheap i paid i overpaid for him a little bit but anyways point is guys it's the 25 days of poop miss all you guys gotta do to enter as per usual subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below your console and the secret rewards you're thanks for to win good luck now let's get into the market there's a ton to go over and then disregard me guys if i get a little into the market a little bit here and i try to actually buy things while talking because there's so many great prices such as michael vick the new one i've been, I've been trying to get this michael vick I don't know guys, Look, comment down below, do you think he's worth it over Lamar Jackson? I think for the time being he's probably worth it over Lamar. But let me know what you guys think down below. Now I'll start over at the 88s. Now, no one cares about the 88s. We still gotta check just in case. Have they changed? Let's go, let's filter these by flashbacks to see if the 88s have changed at all. Kinda curious to see that. And they're down. They're down to 22k, 27k, 30k. Okay. Guys, if 88 overalls are in the, just are in the 20k range, that's when you know. There's a serious issue with them. The market is it's RIP. RIP the market. It's literally done. And so for I think this is it. This was the nail in the coffin. It's always the Christmas problem that does this. It's the nail in the coffin. That is it. The market is done for, for the rest of the year. Now, guys, I'm happy. I hope you guys took my advice. When Walter Payton came out, I said I wanted him. But Walter Payton was bait. I knew it. He was bait. They always do this to me. They drop an Amon Green, a Walter Payton, and a... Bo Jackson. I was literally gonna, I bought him on green. I was gonna power him down for Walter Payton. Good thing I wasn't home because I was gonna do it. And then Bo Jackson came out. I knew it was bait. I knew the new Mahomes was bait too for a new Vic. I, I was waiting for it. I knew it was gonna happen. I you know it just sucks. Is like for all those guys who wasted all their coins on green and Walter Payton, then they drop Bo. Like what's the point? What is the point of dropping Walter and Bo back to back? Don't get me wrong. I love all the content. Maybe don't just make them all halfbacks. All of our bangers have been halfbacks. Walter Payton, Bo, Amon Green. That's been the best content of this week. Those three. And Mahomes. And then Vic. It's been quarterbacks and running backs. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But give us that position. Give us a fight at cornerback. Because then, like, you, you can start three of them. But let's get let's keep moving on. Let's go to the 90s and see where they're at right now. They're probably super cheap at this point. It says 100K, but I don't believe that for a second. Unless people are buying trading right now. 60K. That's what I thought. Wow. See the difference between filtering out and just buying the first thing you see? That is how inflated the market is right now. Now, again, it could be from all the packs people are opening or just all the new players that are on here. But the market is so inflated that it says 90k if you filter, 60k. That's a huge, huge difference, to be completely honest with you guys. This is really crazy. This is one of the worst crashes I think I've seen in recent history of Madden in general. No, let's kick it up now. Let's get to the 92, 93s, because that's where that's where we're really gonna start seeing the big, big damage done by all these new cards that came out. So let's see, 92 to 93. Let's filter these out because, as we both know, that is not by any means the right price. 92k for Dallas Clark. Do you guys see these prices, guys? You want to build a legend team? Now is definitely, definitely your time. There is crazy good value to be had here. I remember when I wanted Gene Upshaw, I was gonna pay a premium for him. Look how cheap he is now. Probably should still get him. I definitely need to upgrade my line at some point, especially if I want to have Bo running wild. Gonna have to upgrade my line, so I'm gonna have to look into that pretty soon. Let's see some team of the week cards. Actually, let's see series redux cards. Because as we do know, they should be a lot cheaper than usual. Aaron Rodgers, 100k. Let's see what stands out here. Remember when Dante Hall was like the glitch? That's crazy. It's crazy how far Madden can come in just a few weeks. Like how different your perspective on team building can be in just a few weeks. Calvin's super cheap. I mean. He's not, he's super cheap in comparison to the fact that, like, he can be in the upgrade. He can be in his power up sets. Like, he should be up still a little bit. Dion, Randy Moss is still expensive because people have powered him up. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really tired. But you know what? You know what does bother me? That these Mutt 10 cards are needed to be powered up with, and they get super expensive because people still have them. And there's, there was never that many to begin with. So it's really impacting the way the market is going to be shaped. Now let's head over to the 94 to 95. This is where we have, we have to talk about NFL 100s, the new Ghost, and the Legends. So let's start with the Legends. Let's start with the Legends and see what we have here so far. So it should be a Mon Green. Okay, so a Mon Green's 170. A 94 overall is 170K. You guys understand how cheap that is? 170K for a Mon Green. That's ridiculous. I bought him for like, I did a set for like 280, which was cheap. He was like 340 at the time. He, he already crashed because of the new Bo Jackson. Jesse Tuggle, Jesse Tuggle originally was a cheaper one, but then all these running backs came out and he skyrocketed. Oh, anti-skyrocketed, went backwards. It's beyond belief. Guys, if you want a budget beast running back, Amon Green is definitely your guy. But with all the NFL 100 guys there, I don't know if you want to go that route. Let's go to the NFL 100s. This is where the market crash is really showing. Jim Brown, 209K. Like, that's whatever. He's been that price. Emmett Smith, fine. Vinatieri's 239. I know he's a kicker. Barry's 248. NFL 100s are done. They're not being, they're not expensive anymore, which makes, which sucks that I spent coins on anything thus far because NFL 100s are not expensive anymore. That's it. Their time, their time is done. Eric Dickerson was going for 700K about four days ago. Before Amon Green and Walter Payton dropped, Eric Dixon was like 650, 700k, best running back in the game. Look at this comparison to Bo Jackson. Your word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your cons. Once you do all this, then you're to win. Good luck. Way faster. And don't say he's powered up. He beats him by a lot. Way faster. Better excel. Actually, same agility on powered up. Same carrying. Similar catcher. Better looseness. Way better trucking. Way better break tackle. Overall, this Bo Jackson is just the better card, and strength-wise, 88 versus 80. This Bo Jackson just completely destroys him everywhere. Let's see what the Juke and Stiff Arms are 90, similar. Juke and Spin is better for Bo. It's just all around this Bo Jackson is going to be the best running back in the game. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild what this Bo Jackson can do. And he killed the market for running back specifically. Now, Tony Gonzalez, obviously these guys are going to be pretty cheap. Those guys weren't that expensive to begin with, but some of these guys like Devin Heston in the 300k range. A great buy is honestly Ronnie Lott and Lawrence Taylor in the low 400 range. That's definitely a great buy. But everything's just come down significantly. Like, it's, it's pretty crazy to me. Like, everything dropped, like, 30%. All these cards are, like, 500k. A lot of those cards I just showed you were 500k plus. Now they're all 300 to 400k. Everything dropped at least, like, 30%. Now let's go over to the Ghost of Madden Pass. Show you guys the new cards and their prices. So, Michael Strand's already 300k. So is Mel Blunt. Bo Jackson actually is 315, which is super, super cheap. Look how... Look how Look how inflated this is. It's so saturated, you can't even find players. So, what I recommend scooping these, I think Strahan for below 300k, like when you see for like 290 ish, is a great buy. He's right there, Reggie White. You can get either or. I don't really like Mel Blount personally. Mel Blount, I don't think I'd take him in place of another cornerback. Let's see, let's see. And then there's Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, I would I would pay 550k for him, and he only goes to 315. It's just it's funny, right? You drop him on green. You have to pay more than Bo Jackson for him. They drop both players to pay more than Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson comes out, who's the greatest running back in Madden by a long shot, and you have to pay less. It's kind of scary, guys. I think Madden's coming. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like an apocalypse soon that everyone can get the best card so cheaply. I'm not joking. But Bo Jackson, everyone's gonna have him now. It's gonna be really ridiculous playing him online. And then there's Michael Vick. He's obviously coming down in price. Do I think he's worth it? It's it, it's hard, right? I'm between him and Lamar. Is his price worth it? Powered up. Both of them powered up. Okay, Lamar's the fastest QB in the end because he's a 94 overall, two overalls last, and he still has the same speed. So realistically, when, when Lamar gets his MVP card, he's going to have like a 99 speed with Kevin's and everything. So the only difference between these two is that Michael Vick has a way better throw power, a way better throw accuracy, and a way better throw on the run. So realistically, Michael Vick can get a 99 throw power, which is a big deal because Lamar Jackson throws ducks. No matter how accurate it is, he throws really soft passes, which does hurt me here and there. And the deep accuracy is really good too because Michael Vick can actually throw deep. He can throw power at throw deep. So he really adds another element. So I feel like Lamar Jackson still has like a slight handicap. Like he's still like in a walking boot in my, in my opinion. Like short range, Lamar's great. Running, Lamar's great. Medium range, Lamar's okay. And then past, past like the 15, 20 yard line deeper, Lamar gets very like handicapped. He can do minimal things. Like if I throw it too far, if I try throwing a deep pass, he always underthrows a little bit enough for my receiver has to stop running and then I get picked. Or he overthrows it because his deep accuracy is not too great. Or he can't even throw it that far in a streak. Michael Vick can do all those things while maintaining a faster speed at this point in the game. 
while being able to also get invasive. I think Michael Vick's the move for now. Now, do I want to switch back to a lefty is my problem. I was so used to a righty again, having Lamar. I loved having a righty. And having a slightly taller quarterback, Michael Vick always feels super tiny. But I think it's kind of, I think it's gonna be the move, honestly. I think I think the price is definitely right for Michael Vick. I'd want Michael Vick for like 450. If I can get it for like 450, I think that's a great price for him. So that's why I've been waiting, trying to snipe him out for 450. If I can get it for 450, I think it's definitely worth like 450 to 500k. Anywhere between there is a worthwhile buy. Just for now. Now I wouldn't now guys, when it comes to Lamar, I wouldn't power him down. You could sell his redux for now, but keep his other team of the week and keep him powered up. Because when he gets his MVP card, he's going to be the best quarterback in the game. He's going to get Dash and Dead Eye. He's going to get Evasive. He's going to get Jukebox. He's going he's to get everything. He's going to get literally every every ability you want for quarterback while being one of the best passers while also hitting like 99 speed. I'm telling you, that, that Lamar Jackson is going to break the game. So I wouldn't power him down. I'm going to wait for that Vic. I have a lot of team building to do now because I have so many new things I have to add. And there's also that Sean Taylor, which is LTD. So you got to take your time on that one until you guys are ready to actually try to buy that. But... I think I'd rather just take a Ronnie lot, a lot cheaper. Although Lawrence Taylor is definitely cool. Guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Read to the channel, make sure down below. Enter the 25 days of poop miss. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below your console. And the secret word here throughout the video. Once you do all those things, you're to win. Good luck. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take advantage of the market crash. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.